All right, guys, welcome back to the Seven Days of Night. We are in trouble. We got some zombies chasing us, and they are fast, and we're just about out of stamina. I mean, he's like right on me. Oh my god, he's fast. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And you know what? I don't have my, um. I don't have my, uh. uh whatchamacallit? My, um. Shit, my frames. I don't have them on my toolbar, so I can't quickly jump up on the roof. So here's what we're gonna do. If I can just get him caught up in the spikes. These guys are insanely fast. I mean, faster than they were in Alpha 17. Oh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, let's see if we can get him caught up on one of these because that'll slow him down. Ah. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh my god, these guys are so fast. Okay, okay. Are we gonna make it? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're infected. That's not good. But we made it. Man, you guys, I'll tell you what. Nightmare speed on Alpha 18 is truly nightmarish. Whew. Oh, I thought we were gone there. I really did. Okay, so the spikes, the spikes and the, um, the barbed wire. That's what saved us. That's what saved us. We managed to get him caught up. Um, <clears throat> I think we might have even killed one of them on the spikes, and then the other guy got hung up on the barbed wire long enough for us to get away from him. Oh, that was intense. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is just downright scary. I mean, they were not they were not that fast in Alpha 17 uh, on um, on Nightmare Speed. They just weren't. That is just outright freaking scary. I can't tell you how freaking scary that is. Whew. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we just got infected. That is not good. Um, we do have honey, though. We do have honey. This church is really cool looking. Oh, there's another one. We gotta be careful. That church is really neat looking. Um, I wonder if... I mean, I'm sure it's a dungeon... You mean just because it's so big, you know. Here, let's get these. Let's get these on our toolbar too. We got to get back to our little place and get uh, get that honey eaten real quick without re-aggroing those guys. That is really neat. Is that roof on the very top flat? Uh, that part of it or not? That would be a really stout building to have a, a bit of a base on. Or even in the bell tower, the steeple. Okay, well, let's not worry about that right now. We need <clears throat> we got to get back. Okay, there's one of the guys that was chasing us right there. We got to get back to our um, house and get, get that honey real quick. For this infection. I mean, we've got, I think we have like three or four hours, something like that. Real-time hours, not in-game hours. Before it goes to stage two, but, I mean, let's not mess with it. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, so, we had a successful night, and went successful in terms of the fact that we didn't die. What's that? Oh, just a hubcap. It looks like it's got dynamite. Oh, because you can make it into that. Uh, so yeah, we had a good night. Um, I finished uncovering the rest of the, the town pretty much, exploring it. Didn't find any place that really, really stood out to me, you know, for a base. I wanted to kind of investigate that church a little bit. Maybe we still will. But I'm, I'm like kind of, I'm a little freaked out right now. <laughs> I am a little freaked out right now. Those guys were so fast, I could not get away from them. The only thing I could do is, you know, turn around and try and get them hung up on the spikes and the barbed wire. 
But I mean, I barely even had enough time to do that before they were on me. I was, I was just, just barely gaining on them. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, let's get back up here. And, um... I, I, you know, after seeing that, I'm starting to think that stealth definitely is the way to go. Stealth and just have a buttload of the spikes and barbed wire on us. And even, you know, you know, kind of like set up like almost a little obstacle course like, like I did there. And try and get them hung up and if they're chasing us. But I just was not... I wasn't expecting them to be that fast. That was just scary. It was nightmarish. <laughs> okay, here. Let's suck this thing down quick. Where is it? Where's our honey? Right here. Okay, so... So that changed this little icon here. Uh, what does it say in the status thing? thing module? Treated mild infection. You have treated mild infection. Continue medication until an infection is cleared up. So... Alright, so is it going down? Yeah. Okay, it's going down. How do I know how long the medicine lasts for. Is it this thing here? Yeah, about like 4.7%. 4.6%. Okay, okay, I get it. So basically, <clears throat> what this is telling me is that this will last now for 4.5%, 4, 4.5%, but we only have 0.9% infection. So, so this will cure us. So this is a new thing too. Let's say that we had let our infection go for longer, um, and, you know, I, I guess this was probably 5% when we first started it. I wasn't paying attention. But let's say, you know, we had gotten beyond 5% on this, so maybe, well, I don't know, 7%. One jar of honey would not cure it. It, would, um, it wouldn't be enough, so we'd have to have another jar of honey. So what that means is, even though we, it takes three hours to get to um, stage, you know, to stage two, you still want to treat this immediately. You don't want to mess around with it. Whew, okay. Looks like we just got Edgar's attention. So, um, I was going to tell you guys, too, I got a, uh, I got a, um, or, or not, I got, I almost stumbled into a running horde last night, and they were, they were going, like, lightning fast. I mean, just as fast as those guys uh, were. Oh, by the way, I found a hammer, too, uh, in a car overnight. That's more nails. So, yeah, just super scary stuff. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's turn this one water into a tea. I've been trying to avoid drinking water straight up just because it does have the um, possibility of giving you food poisoning. So we're just drinking tea. And... We've got um, some more eggs, so let's make some more bacon and eggs here. Edgar's down there tearing the shit out of the place. All right, so we got two goldenrod teas that we made up. We got some corn. We're we're doing pretty good on food. Uh, I found another beef ration too, so that's a good thing. Uh, we need a little bit more health, so let's do that by taking another bandage. We don't want to take these if we don't have to because they make us thirsty. Bandages don't have any ill effects as far as I know. And then we can make another one to replace the one we just used. Once that alacrim's done, uh, let's make another arrow. Or five arrows, actually. Oh yeah, we found some more 38 uh, rounds too, so now we have 72 in total. We just gotta find a gun to shoot them out of. Recipes, first aid bandage. Oh, we need two cloth. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Alright, so we'll get that bandage back that we just used. Um, got, I found a few more lock picks too. We got five more empty jars, which is good. Let's grab that, turn off the fire. And let's 
Our, actually, our food's in pretty good shape, but we'll just we'll top it off. Why not? Cause why not, right? Yeah, we got five extra bacon and eggs, so yeah, we're we're in really good shape as far as our stuff. I'm just I'm a little freaked out though about um about how fast those zombies were. Now, I believe if I remember right, I think we found ten iron ingots or forged iron rather in the um the forge at the trader. Okay. So what I was thinking we ought to do is go over there, grab those, because um you can make a repair kit from one duct tape and one forged iron. It's actually relatively cheap to make repair kits now compared to the way, the way it used to be. So you know it takes one forged iron, one duct tape. Uh, then we can fix our axe, you know, get that repaired up. Um, the other thing I was thinking we could do is we could try and cancel our current quest and see if it refresh his, refreshes his quest list and see if we can get a, a buried supplies quest because that one we can handle. I'd, I don't know if we're ready yet to try and do a, um, you know, a, a clear quest, especially after seeing how fast those guys are. And that's just scary. And <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but um, I don't want to leave the roof now. So we're basically, guys, we're going to spend the whole rest of this season just up on this roof, okay? <laughs> I don't want to go down there anymore. Oh, my God, that was bad. That was so bad, you guys. Um... Now, here's something we could do. We don't really... I don't think I want to do this here, though, because we're not going to stay here. We still need to find our permanent place to live. We really do need to do that. Um, But what what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make, like, a little... um, Like a booby trap type of thing, um, you know, near our base. So when we get chased like that again, you know, we can... Um, we can run, you know, to the safety of that booby trap. And it might be something like, you know, like a little ramp with a gap that we can jump, you know, onto like a platform and then have like a bunch of spikes or something underneath it. Um, so I think we need to do that, but I don't want to, I don't want to spend, you know, the effort to do that until, you know, we're doing it at the place we're going to actually base up, which is not going to be on this little wimpy house, even though the little wimpy house has done pretty good by us so far. Okay, so... Let's see, what do we want to do? We could go do the trader thing. Um, let's do that. Let's go to the trader. Let's see if we can switch the quest out and get those those iron ingots. So let's get Scooch. Did Edgar... Yeah, he's, he's inside the house. Turn it up. Okay, wow. Scary, scary, scary. So that was a businessman zombie and a skater punk that was chasing us. I mean, businessman zombie's always been fast, but my word. I mean, that little girl zombie that chased us in episode two, she was fast like like, like that too, scary fast. Um, so I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's tough. But, uh, you know, this it, it, really, the spikes saved us. The spikes and the barbed wire is what actually saved us, because I was out of stamina. I was going to go down. And uh, those two things saved us. So, you know, good on us for making him, right? Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do? Let's go to our quest. And we're going... Oh, we got that treasure map, too. That, oh, it's a one and a half kilometers away. Holy crap, that's a long ways away. Okay, so let's cancel this quest. So remove it. Okay, and then let's head on back to the trader. He is actually just right over this way. And we're going to see if we can get a, a buried supplies quest from him and also get those 10 uh, iron, uh, forged iron. Oh, shit. I mean, you know, the other thing, too, is we've got enough arrows. We've got enough arrows that, to, to where we can take on a single zombie. Uh, in, in our, you know, like on a fairly flat surface like the road. Um, but not two. Not two at the same time. I mean, that's just, that's too much right now. I mean, I suppose we, we could if we really had to, but it would be <clears throat> up to how well I placed my shots versus how well my stamina holds out. 
we should be hitting every single stump we see because the other thing that saved our ass is that honey. <laughs> and we should probably carry it with us all the time now that we know that we've got to take it like right away. Don't want to mess around with that. No siree Bob. Well, not at least until we get some antibiotics, you know. And look at that. We got a thing of honey. Awesome. Okay. This, we should also be probably be keeping that on our... There's so many things we got to keep on our toolbar. I mean, <clears throat> we're not actually using our club, but I just, you know, I don't like the idea of not having some kind of a melee weapon, and the spear is just absolutely crap for melee. I was hitting a, <clears throat> a crawler with it off camera. Yeah, I don't know. It must have taken me 10 to 12 hits on a crawler in the head, most of them, to kill the guy. It's just ridiculous. Now, I know it'll get better, you know, when you spec into it, but I just don't know if that's the best thing to be spending our points on. Which, by the way, we are almost ready to level. So, um, we've got to... We're going to have to really gonna think about, you know, where we're going to put the, that point in. Oh, we got 16 forest iron. Nice. I thought there was only 10 in there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to really be thinking about that. What do we need for duct tape? We've got a couple of things of glue. Yeah, just one glue and one cloth. Nice. Okay, so we can make duct tape back at the base. All right, let's see if our buddy here, our trader... You really need to go see the doctor about that. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go Let's go see if we can get a, a buried... Oh, look at that. Buried supplies. Very nice, and there's two of them really close by. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Think you can help me? It's rare to find. I can help you with this one, buddy. Dark times. I thought I heard footsteps. Whoops, I'm sorry. Footsteps outside. Do you have a uh, messy inventory? I don't have any money on me though. Anyways, actually. Uh, all right. So there's always shamway up the road. You can try looting. Well, we've got, uh, oh, we don't have our shovel with us. Shit, I left the back of the base. All right, well, where do we got to go to do this? Is it towards the base? It's in that building? That's the building we were supposed to clear. Well, that doesn't help us. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> Oh shit. All right, well, hmm. Let's go back over there, I guess. That, uh. I was hoping we'd get this, like, out in the boonies somewhere, you know, not where we're gonna get a bunch of zombies trying to eat our butt. Hmm. All right, whoa, shit. How fast is Edgar? All right, he's he's fast, but he's not like scary fast. He's not nightmare fast. He's just fast fast. We could try and kill him, but let's get him out on the road where we have lots of room to maneuver. All right, come here, Fatso. See how many shots it's going to take to kill this guy. He's tough, pretty tough. That's two. there. Oh, come on. Can't believe this. Okay, there's three. <clears throat> I mean, I could hit him, hit him in the, you know, center of mass kind of thing, but he's already so tough. We really need to be trying to get headshots. Okay, what was that? Four. Five. That didn't even phase him. That one went over his shoulder. Six. Ah. 
seven. That one whipped his head back. Eight. Nine. <laughs> That's a, you're so damn tough. Ten. Eleven. I mean, as long as we don't let him tag us, we're not in any danger. It's just... Okay, we finally get him on the ground. Put him in the nuts. Try and get another shot off on him before he starts running. I even... I, guys, I lost count. I mean, what? What are, what are we on, like, what, fucking 12 now or something? Excuse me. Of course, they, you know, they haven't all been headshots. In fact, probably most of them haven't been, but... No, come on. <laughs> uh, maybe I should quit trying to aim for the head and just shoot him in the... See, that? that's bullshit. That one... That went right through him. Come on. Come on. Good God. What are we on? 15 now? You guys... You guys who are watching this uh, and keeping track, just let me know in the comments how many shots it actually was, because I've completely lost track. We've got to be, like, around 20 now. And I'm talking about the shots that have actually connected with this asshole. <laughs> the freaking pit gushing. Seven hundred and fifty XP. I just just based upon <clears throat> what my 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 mind remembers from the sound effects from that, I think I picked up what about fourteen arrows off of him. And you know, you don't ever get them all back. Woo man. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that got us uh that got us pretty close to, to the next level. Okay, well, Edgar is not Terribly scary, only because he's not nightmarishly fast. So we can get, <coughs> excuse me, we can get away from him if we need to. And we probably should get away from him just because that's just, that takes so many arrows, you know, to kill him. I'm talking about, you know, right now. I mean, once we get a better bow and, oh shit, oh that scared me, I didn't even see her. Um, you know, then, okay, so now she's fast. So... Let's try and get as far in front of her as we can. She's like right on me though. Where'd she go? Okay, so now what we gotta try and do is get her caught up on like that. Bullshit! We gotta watch our stamina too. There we go. Whoo, lordy. Thank you, Spikes. <laughs> we only have three left. Okay, I think I'm going to have to spend a bunch of time off camera chopping down like 100,000 trees so we have a big old stack of spikes on our toolbar. Second time today, Spikes have saved our butt. And, uh, yeah, she, Stripper Lady is very dangerous because she's like ultra fast as you guys could see there okay i'm gonna just leave those spikes there because we might need them again at some point oh man this is intense this is far far more dangerous you guys than alpha 17 was it really nowhere to lie it really is just because of how fast those guys actually are okay you know what we need to do um we need, we need to chop some more wood. I, I cannot be walking around without a bunch of spikes on the toolbar. It's just, we got to do it. So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm, I'm going to cut the camera here.
and I'm just going to cut a bunch of trees just in this general vicinity, and then, you know, <clears throat> when I'm ready, I'll bring you back, and then we'll go from there, okay? So I'll be back in just a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and I've got 60 uh, wood spikes on the toolbar now, and we also uh, dinged, <clears throat> excuse me, so we now have a skill point to spend, and I have uh, almost one square of uh, XP uh, just from chopping the wood. So we've got um, Mr. Tourette's over here, and uh, I'm just curious. He's going to be a little bit hard to kill because he's, you know, spazzes out so much. We should uh, see how many arrows it takes to kill him. You know what we really need to do? Let's um, let's do this. Let's go over to the trader where it's safe and decide what we're going to do for the next skill point. I haven't actually uh, gone through the skill points and looked at them in detail yet. Um, and I don't want to worry about getting uh, ganked while we're looking at them. So let's go ahead and, and do that. <clears throat> we'll spend the rest of this episode just kind of looking through them, you know, fairly quickly here, and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so let's see. Let's go in here. All right, so this is our perception attribute. Deadeye is... Uh, for uh, for guns. Now, it could do Javelin Master. If we take this, then Spears will do 10% more damage and have more range when we throw them. Does this just require... Okay. So, so there's no more level, level requirements for the skills, but there are other... It looks like there are other... Um, uh, you know, other requirements, though. So, Perception itself... Uh, increased perception raises headshot bonus and dismemberment chance with spears, sniper rifles, and explosive weapons. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's uh, good to know. Uh, you know, in fact, we should probably be looking at the actual attributes themselves. I haven't really paid much attention to those either. Uh, strength is measure muscular might. Increasing strength raises the headshot bonus and dismemberment chance with shotguns, clubs, and sledgehammers. Okay. Uh, sexy T. What's that? What's this do? Nintai. Reduces melee and tool stamina use by 5% and power attacks by 10%. Okay. Now, that's really a lot more melee focused now. I've, I've been hearing that pack mule's not really a good idea to spec into because of the fact that you can make pockets now. And, uh, apparently you can open up your entire inventory by doing that without having to take any points in this at all. So we're not going to do that. Uh, some people were saying minor 69 is not as good as it used to be either. What's this do? Create faulty quality tools. No, craft faulty quality tools. Increase tool damage by 10% and block damage by 30%. Um, I don't... That doesn't look bad to me. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. So, I don't know. Uh, you've... Okay, so, Peter, you've... Johnny, you can harvest 20% for more ore stone train block. Okay, see, now that's going to be worth, those are going to be worthwhile too. Not necessarily right this moment, but um, we need to, to think about that. Okay, so what does this do? Does this just give us more health? Deal 210% headshot damage and have a 10% chance to dismember with fists, assault rifles, and machine guns. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. You could, uh, you could wreck in the end game. With assault rifles and machine guns, and with your fists, that's a, that's actually really good. It's interesting though that it doesn't, um, you know, that it doesn't uh, increase health anymore. You aren't very durable. Health release your life. Two hundred percent. Wait a minute. What am I looking at? Uh, we already have that. I guess they gave that to us automatically, right? Okay. Two hundred percent headshot damage and have a ten percent chance to dismember with fists, assault rifles, and machine guns. We're getting thirsty here. Let's uh, drink a tea. I don't think we need to eat anything right at the moment. We're in pretty good shape there. Okay. Wow. I, I, you see, I don't, I don't think this is a good idea for me to take right now, but I could see, you know, if you spec into this later on, um, you know, as you started to, especially when you start getting assault rifles and machine guns, uh, or if you did go, you know, fisticuffs and stuff like that, That'd be good. That'd be awesome, man. Okay, the Brawler. What's this do? 10% more damage with fists. Punch to the head, negate infection ability. Unlocks iron knuckles crafting. 
So yeah, if you wanted to go, you know, with fisting, which would be kind of fun, but again, I don't think that's a good idea for me to do on my playthrough. Huntsman, harvest more, okay. Uh, you know, well insulated is something we're going to have to really be start thinking about once we lose our little grace period for, you know, for the weather and that sort of thing. But if we stay in the forest area, we should be relatively fine with that. More crops. Use your hands or tool. Um, oh, so this account, this, this, uh, this counts for wild or planted crops. That's good. Pain tolerance. Now, this is something we might want to think about. Uh, you, you like to think you're tough because you don't have a glass jaw anymore. Reduce hit point loss by 5% and 20% less chance to get stunned. Yeah, and that's, that doesn't suck. Healing factor is important too. Uh, gain one hit point every 60 seconds with natural healing. Okay. Uh, we already took a point in... Uh, cardio. So what's that require? Uh, 42 level 3. So it's probably what? 3, 5, 7, and 10. Okay. That's probably what it is for all of these. <clears throat> is my guess. Iron gut. This is going to help us with uh, not getting sick as much and holding our breath longer. Chance of food is to reduce by 1%. Less from consumables last 10% longer. Now that's not a bad deal either, really. Okay. Um. So... Well, let's just keep looking. Let's just get through these really quick. Um, we can't get the next thing in archery until we have agility level 3. So what does agility itself give us? Deal 210% headshot damage and have a 10% chance to dismember with bows, handguns, and knives. Now, we really need to think about this because, you know, the the bow is our main weapon. We really, really need to think about that. Seriously. Uh, from the shadows has served us well so far what does the next level do for us so now it's 26 percent yeah yeah you know i think guys you know considering that you know we're going to kind of do a stealth build we really agility is probably going to be our tree uh, at least for the early game here well let's look at the rest of them so this increases headshot damage with intellect governed weapons such as junk turrets and stun batons okay we're not doing that i tried the junk turret in the multiplayer and it sucked it was kind of fun, but it just, it like tickled the zombies. It didn't hardly do any damage at all. Oh, uh, better barter. Nah, that's none of that stuff that we want right now. Uh, some of that's kind of multiplayer based anyways. Advanced engineering, what's that do? You're able to forge iron and other metal objects, craft forges and anvils, crafts, craft that was 20% faster. Okay, so we, we need to be thinking about that too. I suppose we need Grease Monkey to do the bicycle. What is the requirement for this? Intellect level 2. Oh, boy. <clears throat> the bicycle the bicycle is going to really help us a lot, too, you guys. It's just that this sucks. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there, okay? Um, whoops. I mean, th this up here... Okay, what does it say here? You're at the price of, but you occasionally hit the nail on the head. Deal 210% headshot damage and have a 10% chance to dismember what's done. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like <clears throat> that the base attribute that governs super important things that we need, like Crease Monkey, is giving us points in something that I'm probably never going to use. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that I have to spend a point on that just so I can get what I really need and have this be literally useless to me. I mean, what's it do when you get down lower? Yeah, see, it's the same thing. It's just, <clears throat> I guess you would have to really like like the junk turret and stuff. And, you know, maybe the junk turret does kick ass later on once it, it gets leveled up. I just, it was so pathetic, though, when I tried it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and then, of course, we have just our outright skills here uh, art of mining what's that do see the thing about this stuff though you guys is we these all have as far as I know these all have books every one of these has a book that we can find so it just doesn't make sense for me to put points into this I think right now because uh, I think we will eventually probably find almost all of these books what's pistol Pete do one stop shop to learn about pistols and reading books. Well, okay. So, what do we need for this? What's the requirement? Uh, oh, it costs seven points? Are you shitting me? Wait a minute, what? 
Oh, no, no, no. That, that That's the points for the volumes that you've read, because I've read these three books. Okay, so how do we get this, then? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the requirement is for that. Hmm. Okay, well, I think, guys, I think we need to stick stick with agility for now. Um, and, you know, we need, we want to get, we want to keep bumping this up. So, you know, what's, what's Hidden Strike going to give us? Uh, this is going to give us 50% extra damage sneak attacks with knives. Only with knives. Oh, well, screw that. We're not using knives. Uh, at least not right now. Um, so we want, we're going to want from the shadows and we're going to want archery. And in order to get both of those, we've got to have agility level three. Agility itself is good because it's going to give us headshot damage and dismember jam damage with bows and handguns. So yeah, I, I feel good about that one. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to we're going to take this point and we're going to take the third point in this and the next level so that we can then unlock archery and from the shadows, um, and just kind of keep staying in this agility tree for the time being. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Boom! Excellent. You know, another tactic we should maybe be thinking about doing, especially as we, you know, get this a little higher, is shooting these bastards in the legs and trying to take their leg out. I mean, I actually did that in the first episode, um, you know, because, you know, if we can get them on the ground, then they're no longer a threat. So that's something I really ought to think about. Because uh, we even, even now we have a 10% chance to dismember them. And it's generally going to be easier to hit them in the leg than it is in the head. Though 20% more headshot damage doesn't suck either. Okay, I think that was a good choice uh, for us. But we are out of time, guys. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, so let's see. What are we going to do in the next episode? We need to get back towards home. It's getting on in the day again. Uh, we have the ability now to make some repair kits. And then I guess... I mean, shit. I don't know. Should we... Let, let's look at this again. Should we even conceivably try to attempt this because it's right in that damn house. It's the same house they wanted us to clear. Or should we cancel it and see if we can get one out in the Thule's? I'm thinking we should cancel it. But she had another one that was also pretty close by. Now what can I get you today? I uh, see it's not going to let, let us do it. Let's let's do that. Let's cancel this. Uh, all right. Okay, so here's the new buried supplies. It's only uh, 313 I meters away. That I can't thank you enough, friend. And it's off to the northwest this time. Okay, so that one's out in the Thule's. Well, at least I hope it's out in the Thule's. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to do, guys, in the next episode. We are going to go back to the base. We're going to drop off our stuff. We're going to make some repair kits and repair our shovel up. And then we're going to head over and do that buried supplies. Because we're going to get good XP, we're going to get money, and we're going to get uh, items like antibiotics and stuff that we need from doing those quests. Excuse me. Um, and I think we can probably handle the buried supplies quest. Now, the thing that makes it dangerous, though, is, as you guys probably know, it does spawn in zombies when you loot it. And if they're like the really fast ones, <laughs> that could not go well for us. But, I mean, we'll just... What we'll do is we'll put some beer on our toolbar and... You know, just just run like hell and, get, and try and get away from them. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave comments. Those things do help, and I do greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.